Hey, here's a quick tech tip on mixing antifreeze coolant and filling the cooling system on your motorcycle. Welcome to Urban Monk TV. Okay, so you've done some work on the bike and for whatever reason you've emptied the cooling system. Maybe you're changing it uh, as part of periodic maintenance, which you should probably do every couple of years um, or some other reason and now it's time to fill it up. Uh, as far as mixing coolant goes, you have a couple of choices here. One is don't mix at all, buy a pre-mix, costs a little more. Uh, another more cost-effective way, but not by much, honestly, is to mix your own. So you buy full-strength antifreeze coolant and mix it with distilled, this is important, distilled or reverse osmosis water only. Um, yes, it's going to cool if you use tap water or drinking water or something like that, but I personally don't believe it's good to put all of those extra minerals into your um, cooling system as uh, they can become attached to the inside of the cooling system and over time build up and uh, get in the way of dissipating heat, which is the whole point of this thing. So I like to use distilled or reverse osmosis water. I tend to mix coolant about a 50-50 ratio between full strength coolant and distilled water. Um, you can play with that a little bit. Just mix according to the instructions on the back of the bottle for the kinds of temperature ranges or the climate that you ride in. And for those of you like me who are in an area where it never freezes, don't think that you can skip the coolant altogether. There's a reason why it's called antifreeze coolant, uh, and that is because not only does this keep water from freezing, but it also raises the boiling point of water and therefore, when you're out in a really, really hot day, if you had straight water, you can boil your water. Uh, I won't call that coolant. And uh, it turns to water vapor and boils off and you're not cooling your engine. So uh, it serves two purposes. You do need to have it in either climate situation. Then just pour it into your cooling system at the radiator typically you want to know the capacity of your system empty so that you don't over mix too much there I'm full but it is settling down you'll see that there's bubbles so there is air in the system that we need to displace out one place we need to remove air is in the water pump here at the top of the water pump is a simple screw. You hear the air coming out until I got completely water. Then I snug it up. Now we've got water completely surrounding the impeller in the water pump and it will, uh, it, that might be called primed, but it will pump when it starts spinning. The next thing you wanna do is work the air bubbles out inside the engine by tipping the bike. I can hear bubbles when I do that, and those bubbles will settle to the top of the radiator eventually and work their way out of the system. Go both directions. Make sure you have room. take much. Next thing is to fill your overflow reservoir to the maximum full line cold. I'm halfway there. Keep going. Close enough. Be sure to close the system. kind of two clicks to putting that on. 
be sure you have it on all the way. The last step is to run the engine. Bring it up to full operating temperature and uh, whatever other air is left should work out. And that is, as you're riding, continue to check the level of your overflow reservoir uh, over you know, a period of the next couple of days. Uh, it may go down and you want to make sure you keep it in between the upper and lower level points. Hey, thanks for watching. If you found this informational and helpful, would you please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to become a monk.